Hello again, Unicorn here. Today is December 29th, 2021. It's about 60 days until I start the AT on February 20th. Um, today I'm going to talk about how I pack my backpack. Uh, you can see all my bag stuff on the floor here, laid out how it goes inside my backpack. Some hikers like to stuff all their gear into a pack liner inside their pack. This method allows filling the pack efficiently, using up every little crevice. I like to have my stuff a bit more organized, so I stuff, use stuff stacks for my quilt, sleep system, clothes, tent, food, and puppy down vests, as you can see laid out here on the floor. Two of the bags are roll top bags called dry bags. Um, they're made of, one is made of Dyneema, the one on the bottom there. And the other one is the Cedar Summit Soul Nylon dry bag. I also have three side zip DCF pods from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. Those have big openings, long zippers, making it easy to access stuff inside the pod. And they are shaped elegantly to fit in your pack. See if I can show it here. They have this flat thing, so this goes against your back. And this is sort of the shape of the backpack, so they fit in really nice when you stuff them inside. DCF is waterproof, but the uh, water can seep in through those zippers a little bit. Generally, this is not a problem because any water that gets in the pack flows down to the bottom of the pack where the quilt is, and that dry bag um, is waterproof. I tested it to be waterproof, so my quilt won't ever get wet in the pack, even if there's water in the backpack. So this is the quilt in a Mountain Laurel Designs roll top bag. You can see that it rolls up on the end there. That seals, mostly seals the end. If you, if you submerge it under water, it will, some water will leak in there, but it's very slow. But sitting inside the pack, my quilt will never get wet inside that. On top of that is the, my um, sleep system, the rest of my sleep system. This is a uh, Big Agnes Q Core XLS sleeping pad and a Cedar the Summit Aeros Premium Pillow. And uh, inside here also is the little air pump that I use so I don't have to blow up my bag every day, which is a pain. The next bag here is my clothes, which I'll talk about in a separate um, video. And then the third one is the tent. Um, I made a video about that already. And then the top bag is my food bag. This is a DCF bag made by uh, Hilltop Packs. You can see it there, I think. Made by Hilltop Packs. That's my trail name, Unicorn. And uh, inside this bag, I have a Mylar Ziploc bag, which prevents any smells from getting out. So both, so DCF itself and the Mylar are very smell proof. I tested that with my little uh, Dachshund hound dog to see if that's true. So most people either carry a bear can or carry a food bag like that one, maybe a little bit lighter, and uh, hang the bear bag uh, from a tree or whatever. That's kind of a pain when it's raining and cold out, um, but it works pretty well. The problem is you have to do it right, or it's or it's not really not doing anything at all. And most of the most people that hang their food bags don't hang them high enough or far enough away from a tree. Um, so I'm going to do something a little different with my food bag, since the food is inside two bags and most of my food is already inside its own bag inside here there's essentially no smell that will get outside the bag however uh, bears and mice have really good sense of smell so they'll they can smell that you know from a little ways away so the trick is that I never open my food bag in my tent so I never eat in my tent I never get any food out when I get in my tent all the food is put away it's all in that bag so the, the t food smell inside my tent is minimal. So outside the tent, it's even lower. Pretty much what will happen is if a bear comes into camp, it'll smell everyone else's food first because most people eat in their tent or near their tent and they just stink like food. So if the bear comes to my tent, they'll smell me and not food. That's the theory. Um, if there is a bear bear box, which are these big metal cans, you know, chained to a tree at a shelter or whatever, I'll use that, and some uh, shelters have um, bear hanging cables already set up, so I'll use those. But if none of that's available, then I'll just keep the food in my tent inside that 
double layer bag or triple layer bag. Um, then on to the right here, over here is my down uh, vest, which is in its own waterproof bag. Uh, like I said, I'll talk about my clothes in a separate video. So that's it for today. Thanks for listening. If you uh, like these videos, then like and subscribe and click the little bell button so you get notified. And we'll see you on the next one.